All right, guys, spiritual kick off for this week. So happy to have you here. We're going to be digging into some great scripture this morning, okay? We're talking about Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 12, okay? 10 through 12 and, and Ephesians 6. Finally, be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Guys, that's a powerful scripture right here this week. And I, and I love Ephesians. My, Ephesians is in my Bible. I got it sitting right here with me. It is just marked all up. I can still read it, thankfully, but it's a lot of underlining, a lot of highlighting, a lot of notes in the margins. Guys, there is so much to be to, to be gained from the book of Ephesians. But first of all, on our spiritual kickoffs, we need to know where Ephesians is, right? We got to know where this stuff is, guys. We're not taking anything for, for, for granted here. So go to your Gospels. As a reminder, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. That's your Gospels. Then you have Acts. Then you have Romans. Then you have First and Second Corinthians, Galatians. And then you get to Ephesians, okay? Now, Ephesians is only six chapters long, okay? Chock full of wisdom. I'm telling you guys, this is a, a chapter, this is a book of the Bible. Do not want to ignore. Paul gives a lot of insight here, okay? So I'm right now, right now, which I want you to think about. Think about the clothes that you're wearing. You know, what, what are you wearing right now? And you may be feeling good about you wearing. Maybe you're wearing a suit or maybe you got some, some khakis on or maybe you're, you're chilling out and you're, you're headed to, in a swimsuit, you're headed to, to the pool or something like that. Question I got for you is whatever you're wearing, are you ready for a battle? Are you ready for a battle? Because as Christians and as men, we face battles every day. We're going to unpack some script, this scripture here. We're going, we're going to see what it looks like to prepare for what is to come because we need to be prepared. So when you're starting off right out, right out the gate, we need to understand without him, we are weak. We are weak. Our strength comes through him alone. And he wants us to know where our source of strength comes from. I mean, God, he wants us to know that. He wants us to, 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 to go to him, to cling to him, okay? And so how, how many guys out there feel like it's all on you? You know, you got to do it. You got to do it. You got to do it by your strength, your way, your will. You just got to push through. You got to bootstrap it. You got to pull them up, pull them tight. Let's get it. Let's go. That's how, we, that's how so many guys think. But true strength, true strength, is not found in a bench press. You know, or how much weight you can move, or how big a truck you got. But it's all in God's word. There's mighty power there. Mighty power in his word. And what he provides us when we rely on him is unbelievable. It's unreal. If we would just take the time to recognize that he's in charge and let's lean into him. So then as you move into the scripture and you look at verse 11, put on the full armor of God so that you'll be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. All right, armor. What do you think of when you hear that word armor? You know, maybe soldiers, you know, police officers, maybe even you, some, some of you guys probably think of medieval times, right? Like knights, the, the knight in shining armor, right? Every piece of armor whether if you're, you're a Navy SEAL or, or, or a knight back in the day, every piece of armor has a purpose. Okay, there's nothing flashy. You don't want anything flashy because it's battle. And a battle, it's not about being flashy. A battle is, battle is about what? Surviving. That's what it's about. And so then you, the second part, you're talking about knowing your enemy. Knowing your enemy. So... Recent wars are hard because it can be hard to distinguish the enemy from everybody else. And that's exactly what we're facing. It can be so hard. I read so many books on Navy SEALs and you know, different, different Army things and, and that, that are happening you know, when you fight these, these wars overseas. And that's the hard part in a lot of these, these fights is because you're going into these towns and you can't tell what the enemy is and what the enemy is not. Right? It's not like, you know, old, old wars where, you know, the, the, the red coats, you can see, okay, those boys wearing red coats, you need to fight those guys. It's not like that. It's blending in. It's blending in. And you think about back in the day when you're growing up, Cowboys and Indians, right? One was the Cowboys, one was the Indians, and you'd fight. I don't even know if kids play that anymore. But I, I know growing up, we did. You always knew which side you're on, right? That is, that, that's not it. 
And it's so frustrating because here's the deal. The enemy can infiltrate your inner inner circle. And before you know it, you have an all-out infiltration from within taking place. I want you to think about the Trojan horse on steroids, guys. I mean, it is really serious. That's how crafty that Satan is. He's crafty. He's going to He's gonna do all he can to get in and to have influence on you. And we don't have to put up with it. We don't have to put up, up with it at all. So all the different ways of attack are coming at us. You know, if you keep reading here in verse 13, it says, Take up the full armor of God so that you will be able to resist in the evil day and that you have done everything to stand firm. Okay, so those attacks are coming. We got to look at the different faces of the enemy. And there's all one common thread. They are all of the world. You know, we are called to the heavenly realm, as, as Paul's telling us here. But while we are here, we're going to face these enemies. And the scary part is they can sneak in. And they can even look like religion, guys. Okay? Think prosperity gospel, right? Or watered down gospel. Okay? Remember this. When I, when, we, when I talked to Pastor Jovi, it just stuck with me. And, I, I, and I, again, I listen to him every week, probably two or three sermons a week. I continue to get fed just because I feel like he, he feeds me spiritually uh, in a way that, that I need. And he told me, the Bible and the gospel is offensive. You know, it is. And he also, you know, in, inside God's word, tells us we need to test the spirits. We need to test it. You know, Satan wants to penetrate the heavenly realms, but he's relegated to hell. You know, he's not getting there. So he wants to pull you away from Jesus or keep the wool over your eyes so that you can't see the truth. Right? That, that's it. Or maybe he's just pulling the wool over your eyes. I was talking to a gentleman just last night and I, while, while I'm thinking about it. This guy does it great. He, he's got a great business. He's an entrepreneur. He's crushing it. He doesn't struggle with sexual sins, no pornography, has a beautiful wife, awesome kids. He struggles. Satan is, is pulling at him and attacking him. With busyness. Because he knows he can keep this man busy. He's not going to do what he needs to do to serve the kingdom. Right? So anything he can do to pull that wool over his eyes and to keep us anything from not looking for Jesus or not seeking God's will, that's what he's going to do. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. It starts with standing strong in the Lord. Root yourself there. I mean, really dig in deep. And you'll be able to fight. You will. But if you got to root yourself, how do you do it? You spend time with him every day. Read. Know his word. Ask for wisdom. Ask for discernment. Ask for just guidance and direction. Because we need it, guys. If we're going to win this battle, we got to have it. Because culture today, it's going to do all it can to beat us down. It's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to hammer us. Scripture tells us we can stand strong and know that you can be victorious. Guys, this is powerful scripture here. I, I, I want to read it one more time. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the full armor of God so that you'll be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. For our struggle is not against the flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world for forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. Guys, recognize the truth that Paul is speaking to us here. I want to make sure that you're ready. Is your armor being tested? Does your, do, you even, do you know where your armor is at? Or if you have your armor on, has it ever been put to, to, to the battle before? Or does it look brand new? When I get to heaven, I want my armor to just be like, I want God to look at me and say, that yeah, okay, he was working. Because it needs to be scuffed up and scarred up, maybe even smell bad, right? I mean, I want that armor to just be so, so used because while we're here, you get one chance to fight, guys. One chance. There's no mulligans. So lean in, put on that armor, stand firm. So guys, what you can expect this week, I'm going to have an amazing guest. And I'm talking about the guy, he, he's going to bring, 
spring to rain, okay? And we're going to be talking about what to expect about being a powerful man that sharpens your dad edge. That's right, your dad edge. So you have to come back on Wednesday because I'm not going to tell you anymore. But I tell you what, guys, this guy, he brings it. He brings so much wisdom and insight, tips, practical tips. There's even an offer coming up that, that I didn't see coming. Guys, it's going to be incredible. So come back on Wednesday and check that out. The question I want you to think about this week as you head into your week, how can patience create powerful dads? So how can patience create powerful dads? That was a hard question for me to even write because I struggle with patience. And somewhere my, my wife is listening to this spiritual kickoff and she just said an amen out driving. Honey, I love you because you, you do. You put up with, with me. I'm not the most patient man fully admit that, but it's also something that I'm really trying to work on. Particularly, we have three daughters in the house. I don't want them to always think of their dad as this guy who come, who is, who's an ogre or raises his voice and is always upset or mad. You don't want that. You need to have the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. They need to see that in their leader, in their father, in their daddy, and in their husband. So, guys, how can patience create power for dads? Think about that this week, okay? Now, again, share this out with, with other lions out there. Share it out with your church. Share it out with your men's group. Share it out with your small groups. Share it out with your Sunday school. Just share. Give us a rating and review. That makes a big difference. Go to the lionwithin.us. We got resources there now. We have online course, uh, courses that we have. You can self-pace your way through some of these videos. Guys, there's, there's blogs, okay? There's downloads. There's 10 scripture downloads that every lion needs to know how to fight, okay? There's there's some really cool resources. There's swag. There's new stuff in the swag store. Go check it out. Go hook up the line within us and and put a a line within us uh, decal on the back of your truck or your car. You know, represent, show, to be part. If you want to be a donor, that'd be awesome. Consider being a donor. All that stuff is on thelionwithin.us. That's thelionwithin.us. Check that out. Be sure to check out our affiliates. We've really got some really cool things going on there as well. Guys, I pray you come back Wednesday. I'm telling you, you're not going to be disappointed. This is going to be a great conversation. This is one that you're going to want to bring. Bring some, bring, here, here's your warning. Bring a notepad and, and something to write with, okay? Because you're going to be taking notes. Okay, this guy, he brings practical ways to sharpen our dad's edge. You guys, I pray you have a great week. Make sure you go study this Ephesians 6 this week. Get this one rooted in your heart. Now get out there and unleash the lion within. Most men know what it's like to do life in a vacuum and feel isolated on the journey. We believe every man needs a community to help them become the men they were created to be. More than just a website or podcast, we are a community of Christian men who are committed to supporting and encouraging one another on our journey become the best versions of ourselves. We are men who have fought the good fight and come out victorious. The lion within us is here to help you stop feeling lost, defeated, and alone. Instead, find community and connection with other men that will help you achieve your goals, live a life of purpose, and be the leader God intends you to be. Visit thelionwithin.us to join the new growing Lions Den community today.